Okay guys, welcome back to episode 12, I think. Uh, we're gonna switch it back to um, our Space Hopper game today. Uh, we're gonna try and work on two things today. Uh, I don't even know how to do it, don't know where to start, but we're gonna try and see where we can get started, hopefully. We're gonna try and implement two things, the first one being um, just increasing the speed of the platforms uh, over time, so let's say you you get like 200 points in the game, we're going to try and increase the speed to make it a little bit harder. Uh, but also something else we're going to implement is just trying to change it up so that the game doesn't look the same all the time. So over um, say about 100 or 200 points, we're going to try and change the theme of the game, try and um, implement the changing of the colors of the platform, so it will hopefully make it look like you're going from one planet to the other maybe, I don't know. Uh, we'll, at the moment we've got some blue platforms, we'll try and make it switch to like red platforms and see if that works, maybe we'll try and think you're on Mars or something. Uh, but that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, we're going to switch it up a little bit, try and take a break from the Asteroids game that we uh, released yesterday. Um, I'm actually filming these on the same day, so kind of weird saying that, but yeah. Um, that's what we're doing today, so let's jump straight into here. Uh, I don't have a plan for this, so we're jumping straight into Unity. And this is how it's going to work for this series, this game series uh, from now on. We're not going to make a plan, we're just going to jump into it and start uh, making things straight away. So hopefully it goes smoothly and we we'll, shall see. So let's start. So what did I say we're going to do? Um, oh yeah, so we're going to try and change the speed of the game when your score has increased. So let's see where we can do this. So we've got a bunch of scripts here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and open all of these at the same time. Hopefully it works, which it does. Cool, so I'll bring that over to here. Make this full screen. So I have a feeling that... Let's just get rid of... Okay, we'll leave that there. Okay, so uh, let's see. What, what class do you want to do this in? Unit, uh, sound manager, satellite platform. Where do we increase or where do we tell the platforms to move? Update, transform the position, yeah, time to activate, I think. Platform cleaner. Where are we? Oh, that's why I'm not. So it's definitely in the spawn thing, yeah, in the, sp in the platform script. Cool, so if the game is paused, don't go move them. So this is where we move them. So what I want to do here is make a check and see, do we have a global score? So we do have a global score. So let's try, let's just try this quick. So if we go, if the game is paused, then obviously, it, well, if the game is not paused, then obviously you want to move the platforms. But if it is paused, then we don't want to do anything. That's why that's in an if statement. So, <clears throat> Here we want to say, do we want to do this before? Yeah, let's go and say, <clears throat> if um, global dot score is greater than or equal to, for now we'll just say 10 or 50, let's say 20, just so we can see if it actually works, but this is going to be a higher number. So if the score is greater than or equal to 20, then the speed uh, is going to multiply by 2. So we'll save that and we'll jump straight back into the game and see if that works. So hopefully now that when we reach a score of 20, yeah, when we reach a score of 20, uh, the platforms moving from top to bottom of the screen will get like twice as fast as they do. So let's see, hopefully that makes the game a little bit harder. Uh, I don't know if it will, but we'll see if it works. So okay, I can't even get to the first platform. So we'll jump on the first one, we get one point, two points. Nice to see the double jump is still working. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, so hopefully, okay, so there we go, so not, that doesn't work, but what is happening, platform, 
assigned attempt for platform clone is not valid input position is actually let's see so we cannot do that obviously because every time the update method is called uh, and the score is greater than 20 it's just going to multiply the score by 2 so we need to figure out a different way to do that and let's try and think if the score is greater than 20 speed so I'm not going to multiply it I'm just going to simply say speed is equal to 5 like that that way it will always set the speed equal to 5 um, if the score is greater than 20 so hopefully that will make a difference because before it was checking if the score is greater than 20 go ahead and multiply the, the speed by 2 which meant that every single frame it would multiply by 2 as long as the score is greater this way it will just check and see if the score is greater than 20 set it equal to 2 or 5 or whatever it is um, and every time it's just going to set it equal to the same value so it should stay at a constant fi speed of 5 so let's see if that works so let's play the game so now we need to try and get to a score of 20 if I can actually get to the first platform or on even the second platform so let's, try, let's try that again need some satellites too we could probably lower the score just to make it faster we also need to try and figure out that jumping issue 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. okay so it does definitely increase the speed which is fine so that is how we'll do that but for now I think that was a bit too fast so we'll simply say this is equal to 3.0 um, and then obviously we can add in some more so if the score is greater than like 30 or 40 uh, we can go ahead and increase it even more but for now I'm gonna say if the score is greater than 5 just to test this quick and then we'll change it to is greater than 50 we will increase the speed by half of 1 so 0.5 so let's play the game quick and then we try and create a I don't know if we created this platform in this game or if we created it using a third party app like XD oh why did I miss that satellite okay so it definitely does increase the speed after the score is equal to 5 so that's good okay I don't know why I'm still playing this but anyway okay so that's looking good so now let's move on to the next thing we will probably come back and refine this a bit more just to make the game when the game is bigger and we've got like multiple different themes across the gameplay uh, we'll come back and change the speed every time we change the theme of the game so they'll go hand in hand so whenever you change a the theme to one theme it will uh, correspond to a, a certain uh, speed of the game if that makes sense uh, but now let's try and figure out how we are going to change the theme of the game so I'm going to open up a platform um, prefab here and see what this is what this includes so sprite render uh, this is our platform okay so we can simply have a look in our um, scripts here and see where we are instantiating our platforms which should be in our spawner here so this is our platform so we can have multiple platforms so let's go and say platform uh, blue uh, then we'll add in a red one and then we'll add in a gray one so let's see um, So for now we'll say platform grey because we'll start on the moon kind of, with like a greyish colour. 
and then we'll move it over to probably a red one maybe um, and then we'll go on from there so let's see if the game is not paused then do this uh, instantiate the pl gray platform so here this is where we instantiate the platform so we need to make some sort of check before this so what we want to do here is we'll probably for the time being just check the score again um, and then depending on what the score is we'll go and swap in the platforms so over here we will simply revert this to platform like that and then in here we'll say if um, global dot score is greater than or equal to five um, then let's go and do this so we'll say game object platform is equal to platform red like that is that gonna work okay so we might have to create like this pl uh, private game object platform like that and then we will get rid of that and hopefully that will work and then here we'll say else uh, platform is equal to platform grey because we want to start with a grey platform so it looks like we're on the moon cool so we'll save that and then first of all we need to go and jump into Adobe XD here and quick, quickly create a grey platform wherever the art is so uh, it's not in here is it uh, we could probably do it in here actually let's have a look and see quick so open uh, it's not in here no uh, shared with you on your computer that's where it should be journal art We say 5xd space hop. Uh, it should be in here, I think. Hopefully, yeah, there we go. So, this is where I want to duplicate this. So, copy and paste that, which it did. And then I want to change the fill to be the same as the border, like that. So, we'll imp or export that. We'll say platform gray that but we want to put it into our game art no so we'll go put it straight into our we'll export it straight into our unity file or well, our game what is called the project file so um, platform asteroid with it 3d space hopper assets art in here platform okay export that into there so now we should see a platform gray that which is there so that's good so here, misspelled that, which I realized. So in here, all we want to do, um, like that. So I'm just gonna go back here quick and just create another one. Uh, but this one, I'm going to set equal to red. We'll get rid of the border because we don't really want a gray border. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. Export that as platform red straight into our project folder and then so now we've got the gray and the red one as well as the blue one which is somewhere over there so just to make these uh, similar I'm going to rename those two platform blue like that and then on where was it what script was it on so this is our spawner class so if we go back to our game we have a spawner manager here and now we have reference to all of these platform prefabs. So I'm going to drag in the images into there. Actually I'm not. So I'm going to create a, another platform. So we'll open up our platform and we'll, we will rename this one to platform 
um, blue because this is a blue platform rename file and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste that one open this one up change the name to platform red rename it and then I'm just going to change the color of all these the sprite renderer on it to a red platform uh, which so will open more well, we'll go into this one and see so there we go we have our red platform we also have a blue platform and the red one should still have our colliders on it which it does so I'm gonna duplicate that and change this one first of all we'll open it we will change the name of this one to gray rename the file and then I will select the gray one like that so that should save all our well, our three different color platforms into our prefabs folder like that and then what we can do is we can go back to our game in our hierarchy uh, click on our spawn manager and now we can just simply um, drag and drop these new prefabs into the uh, correct uh, field over here so the blue one obviously we want to drag in and drop drag and drop in our blue why is it why can't you do that Spawn manager, we want to drag and drop the red one. No, we can't do that. Game object. Uh, let's see. Does this need to be a transform? Maybe. Okay, let's try that again. Game object. If we double click on here, this should okay. Double click on application preview can't be open. Okay, so let's go in here. Ah, that's why my mistake. So everything is right. So in here, we need to drag in the actual prefab, not just the art. So the blue platform, let's drag in the blue one. The red one, we will drag in the red one, obviously. And so the same for the gray one, we'll drag in the gray one. So now have we we have coded that out. Okay, so after our score is greater than five, uh, we should see the platforms change color or the platform change from I think it's gray to a red one. I think. Uh, obviously, the first couple are going to be blue because we actually we've actually drag and dropped them into the scene, so they already exist. Why did I do that? Um, but the the new ones that get, that get spawned into the scene will hopefully be grey. So let's go and play the game. So there we go. So there's the new ones that we have. Why can't I jump? Oh, I'm pressing the wrong keys. So let's try this again. Okay, try the game. So we'll jump onto there. So now, okay, so that is working. So obviously, uh, because the different colour of the platforms means we also need to change the color of the particle effect to match the uh, color of the platform because as you saw if we play it at the moment we have a blue break particle effect that happens which is not really what we want for the the red platforms and the gray platforms so like that obviously we want a gray break particle effect there so let's go ahead and change this to I think it was what did we say for um, okay so we also want to change this to about 20 for now actually I'm gonna put this in here so let's go and say um, public static uh, let's see theme change one I don't know or actually let's say um, Mars theme so when we reach Mars theme which is going to be equal to uh, 50 then we want to go and change the theme of the game so obviously let's say global dot Mars this needs to be capital so 
global.mars global public like Mars. Oh, cute. Like that. So let's try again. Global.mars theme uh, speed will equal to 3. And then the same thing, where is it? In our spawner here, we want to say global.mars theme. So hopefully now that works perfectly fine, but also by doing that and having a like one integer variable in our global class means that whenever we change that single um, integer, it will change for everything in the game. And we won't have to change the two separate ones, so that's a better way of doing that. So let's play the game now and try and reach a score of 50 and see what happens. And after that, that should be it for this episode. So obviously this is not the final version of how we're going to do this. It's just kind of like an idea of how to implement it and just to get started with it. So let's try and get a score of 50, which shouldn't be too hard if we can get these satellites. Ooh, I fucking die. Okay, so I'm not going to reach that uh, without trying uh, a lot. So we'll change that to 15. And then we will try this again. And try and get to 15 on our score count. So let's play the game. Hopefully 15 is a much easier target to reach. So we've got 8, 10, another 5. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so the speed increased and then our platforms will change colors. Great. So that's good. That's a quick, um, that is a quick demo of how we're going to do this. Obviously, like I said, it's not the final version of that. When we get this game completed even further, we'll go ahead and make that even better. Because uh, we also need to add in different themes for each planet that we have in the system, in the solar system. But yeah, like I said, that's just a, a start to that that section of the game. I don't exactly know what is next in this game, so I'll probably figure that out on the day that I film the video. But for now, if you're enjoying the Space Hopper game series, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on as well so you don't miss out on the next video. And if you missed out on yesterday's episode, which was the Asteroids episode, go ahead and watch that. I'll probably put the link to that in this description. But yeah, that's it for this episode, so thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you in tomorrow's episode, so goodbye.